Are you going to be holding the book? Yes. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. It's another episode of Wildlife Hotel. It's a brand new day. Come with us on a brand new adventure. So what we're doing today is we're making cultured butter. What makes it cultured? Did it go to like Soma? What happened? It likes opera. It is a patron of the arts. No, it's cultured like it's got some stuff in it. What did a reaction like in cheese? Fucking what's the word for that? Enzymes. Cultured butter is butter that has been allowed to sit for a period of time where lactic acid bacteria can bring out different aromas and fuller flavors. There's one particular compound, an aroma compound that brings out the butteriness of butter and it's called diacetyl. The lactic acid bacteria produces that as part of the process of making a cultured butter. So we are going to add lactic acid bacteria in the form of creme fraiche to our heavy cream and then we are going to let that sit at room temperature for about 24 hours before the next step. Am I right in that we need the bowl? Yes, of course we need the bowl. I'm not just gonna pour this into your hands. Oh. So, we're gonna need two tablespoons. One, two. Two tablespoons. Here, get a little bit out. Can I just put the, the part that got on your arm back in the bowl? And then we'll add a little more for what I like to call luck. It, it's just the proper ratio, it's not luck. You believe me though. I didn't believe anything. You're sure this isn't just yogurt? Well, it's similar to yogurt in how it's made. Creme fraiche is basically a sour cream but from France and it's not quite as sour. That description checks out. I'm glad I haven't lied to you. <laughs> can, I, can I lick the spoon? Yeah. Mm, smell that? It smells like milk. Well, it's, uh, it's heavy cream and it hasn't been ultra pasteurized. Dairy products in America get ultra pasteurized, which means that they're raised to a temperature that is very, very high for about two seconds, like flash pasteurized. And that kills all your bacteria, but also can kill a lot of your flavor. So in other parts of the world, they will do a grade A pasteurization, which is where it takes it to a lower temperature, but for a much longer time. It costs a little bit more money, but preserves a lot of your flavors. Preserves like eggs. a lot of your flavor. Exactly like egg. If you've ever had an egg right off the ground, mm. Ground eggs. Ground eggs. Different Don't color. Don't knock it till you try it. Comes out orange. Different Yolk color. is not really yellow. It's more of an orange. Much better flavor. There's actually flavor there. Yeah. And then you go back to regular eggs and you're like, what are these? It's very similar with, uh, you know, if you have an unpasteurized milk or cream or butter. Mm -hmm. Just the flavor is so wildly different than what most Americans are used to. So we're not like whipping this. We're literally No, we're not just... trying to put any air into this. We're just like getting it mixed up. Just incorporating everything. Incorporating Got it so it. that it'll... Uh, and then you it's... let it sit for 24 hours. At huh? room temperature. Which, you know, I think most Americans are afraid to leave things oh, out I of the am. fridge. I am um, terrified of dairy products if they've been left out overnight. But we don't want to hurt our little buddies in here, and they need their time to go to work and turn this into delicious cultured cream, I guess? I don't know. It's been 24 hours. This is set out in room temperature room that we have in our room at that temperature, which is the room temperature. <laughs> that looks like a little face right there. Ooh. Or a hat, maybe like a beanie. It's time to magically transport this to our kitchen studio where we transform it into butter. You know what that looks like right now? To butter. me. Scrambled eggs. So what we have here now is some fat globules. It's almost butter. You'll see some buttermilk down here and we're gonna strain as we go. Collect that for later to make creme fraiche. And we're gonna put that right back in there. And see how we already have some more buttermilk there at the bottom, a little bit of liquid. As we press on this, this is the actual churning process here. Now we've broken down our fat globules and gotten out the good, good butter fat that we want. We have to churn it to get the remainder of the buttermilk out. Now that we've rinsed our butter and we have our buttermilk partially set aside. We're gonna add one cup of very cold water and we're gonna whisk this again. First for one minute on low, in which we can clean up some of this mess that we've made. If you clean as you go, you'll be happier when you're done. What did we just do? Made butter. We washed the butter. Oh, we washed. Because you gotta add water. That 16% of butter that is water See how we have more butter now? Because it's had water added. And this liquid is good for nothing because it's not 
a residual part of the cream, but this just like water that you added. this is just some water that didn't get incorporated into the butter. The other stuff is like a legit part of the milk that you, you want to maintain. Right. Because we can make creme fraiche with that. We can make baked goods with that. Although I'm going to have to see if the kind of buttermilk you get when making your own butter is the same as the buttermilk you get in the store. They might add something to it. Yeah. And I want to make sure before I'm like, oh, let's just use this. What we've got left here is now water added butter. So you don't want to work with this. Are we filming? Yeah. All at once. You want to take batches of it and press it to get all of the residual water and butter fat out of it. And when you start to uh, see that the butter you're working with is no longer expressing liquid, then you can set that aside, put some salt in it, wrap it, and call it butter. Now I'm going to be here for a minute doing this, so I don't expect everyone out there to stay as well. The question is, are you ready? Yes. Yes what? Butter. Yes, butter. Yes, butter. Well, bring it. Shall we try it? Well, what is what is this? What do we have here? We fin our finished butter. I was gonna cut it, but you turned it again. Where, where do I turn it? This way? Yeah, I can't move my hand. You have to bring the butter to me. That's how that's how it rolls. Oh yeah, slice and dice. And look at that beautiful, oof, some some beautiful rolls from a local bakery. Butter. Mm. How's that butter? I mean, I mean, it's butter. Is it buttery? Oh yeah. And it has a little bit of a tangy, I don't want to say sour. I mean, that's what we're going for. It's akin to like a citrus, like a citric acid almost in there. Right at the top, overtoning the whole thing, if you will. I didn't salt it too much. Could have actually salted it more. Yeah, I was just going to say like, I kind of want to throw a tiny bit of salt on it, but this is probably better than any butter we have bought from the store. Yeah. And at the very least, it's as good as. I think next time I'll let it culture for 48 hours instead of 24. Will that give it more sour? Mm hmm I'll try harder to get all the buttermilk out. I think there's a little bit of buttermilk in here. I'm gonna do a little experiment real quick. With what? Well, it's, you wanna salt me? It's a salt shaker. You wanna be assaulted? Pretty good. Yeah, that's all it needed to just kick it up to the next level. And this is perfect for this application. You might not want to add salt if you're doing something else with it. I don't know what you're doing and I'm not asking. I'm just saying, you don't always want your butter to be salty. I don't buy salted butter, I make it. And these rolls were the perfect thing to try this butter because the roll itself doesn't have a ton of flavor. Sorry, bakery. I mean, but that's good because we wanted to get an unbiased butter sampling. That's true. I'm always trying to get unbiased butter samplings these days and it's so hard. I mean, oh, I guess I don't need more butter if I already have butter. We'll do a follow up video in a few months where we add a little bit more salt. We are going to probably churn it a little bit better mm -hmm. and we're going to double the amount of time we culture it for. This is a delicious butter that would be good for any application. But next time, we're gonna make a butter worthy of a gourmet restaurant. Still good, still really good, but it could be a little bit better. But we made butter. And I helped. Yep, you did some churning. Mm -hmm. There's still butter in your mustache. There's butter in your mustache. Mmm, butter stash. And with that, have a buttery good mustache kind of night, everybody. No, that's not yeah, it. Yeah, okay. and scroll down, find well, the buttons. <coughs> more butter. <laughs> Find the button, subscribe, and ring the bell. Don't tell your cardiologist you were here. Have a good night.